Hello, thank you for clicking on this video. So this is my 911. It's the 991 Generation 1 Carrera 4S, meaning it's the 3.8 naturally aspirated engine. Now, when I bought this car about 18 months ago, it did not come with the PSE, the Porsche Sports Exhaust. So that's one thing I've been wanting to do for a while. And in this video, I talk about how I managed to do that all through the help of Dub Customs, who did the installation. So massive, massive thanks out to them. And also to Porsche Colchester, who helped actually supply all the parts um, and also the center console sport button that I wanted in the in the front um, seating area. So special thanks to both of them for helping me get this uh, done. And that's an, an important item for me. I really, really wanted to make sure that all parts on this build were OEM. So that's something that we managed to do. So. This is how I managed to install. I hope you enjoy the video. And if you're looking to retrofit yourself, uh, feel free to reach out to me directly. I'm more than happy to help. Enjoy. Good morning. What a gorgeous day in the UK. Um, it's just a short video about uh, another upgrade I'm going to be doing to the car. So basically, we're going to be upgrading the uh, the exhaust system. So <clears throat> this is um, my 911 uh, C4S. As you can see here, it's the 4S. So it's got the 3.8 uh, litre naturally aspirated engine because this is the 991 Gen 1 car. Um, I've got the Sport Design Aero kit installed. Which was done by Dub Customs, so that's the uh, the ducktail. And if I go over here, I've got the uh, got the front as well, the more aggressive style bumper. And the car is amazing. It's uh, it's just so easy to drive. I took it to Tuscany in May, um, and that was just a fantastic two and a half thousand round trip. Um, sorry, two and a half thousand mile round trip that I did. It was absolutely fantastic. <clears throat> Done a few little details, for example, the uh, um, tyre stickers, which are really good quality actually. They've stayed on pretty damn well. Um, had them on for almost a year now. I thought they were going to come off, but uh, they've been good. So we're going to be upgrading the exhaust system. So this exhaust that I have at the moment is a non-PSE. So I don't have the Porsche Sports exhaust system installed. If I try and get down here, you can see here what I have is the uh, standard muffler back box. Um, and I've got the, excuse the dogs, I've got the uh, the new PSC uh, back box to, um, that's arrived and it's going to be installed. But this is how the car currently sounds um, when you start up. So this is a cold start. Let's try and get this right, where's the brake pedal? loud as it is, even on a startup, let's wait for it to idle. Okay, there you go. It's idle. A bit quieter now. Now, it does pop and bang when you put it into sport mode or sport plus especially on the downshifts but I'm looking for that more deeper deeper throatier sound um, and then hopefully we'll get more of that when we get the PSC installed. Yeah so the car's on now I'm inside doors shut here the uh, retro fitting kit for the sports exhaust so basically like you can see here we're gonna have the uh, the rear back box basically installed that's all it really is um, there's already vacuum lines going to the existing valves on the non-PSE on the 3.8. Um, so yeah, it's not, I've got new vacuum lines to be installed to just you know make everything new uh, while we do this. But it should be a reasonably straightforward job. 
so looking forward to that. <clears throat> and yeah, this, uh, these are all the parts I've had to order. So everything I've highlighted uh, are essentially the parts that I've uh, had to order to do this retrofitting kit. Um, the side mufflers don't really need to be changed, I mean they're the same ones. Um, the tips as well, don't need to change those. But all the other bits and pieces uh, I've had to order. So I managed to get the the, the main piece, uh, piece number one that you can see there for a very very cheap price, uh, brand new, <clears throat> so that'll be, that'll be fitted on. All the other pieces came to around about £450 including VAT from Porsche Colchester, so I managed to get those. But now what I do need to also install afterwards is, as you can see here, I've got the centre console switch and I don't have the sports exhaust button which would normally come here, so I've got to reorder this entire piece and that, including VAT, comes to around about £250 or maybe slightly less and that needs to be reprogrammed and you can only do that with um, uh, Porsche specialist uh, workshops that are in the uh, Porsche network. So either you go to a Porsche dealership and they can uh, try and do that for you um, or find a, um, a specialist that is on the Porsche network because when they reprogram these as I've learnt, um, they have to connect via the internet to uh, their network system which connects into Germany um, and only then these buttons can be programmed because that, that's a key part of this whole setup that I want for the exhaust system because what I don't want happening is um, is uh, having some kind of aftermarket switch that I have to control. I don't really like the the idea of that. I want to keep everything as OEM as possible in this car um, and I love this car so much. I mean for me, I know it's not a GT or anything and I've said this before but this is absolutely lovely inside i've got the the sports chrono package and the carbon fiber finishings it's just such a comfortable ride um and i thoroughly love it so yeah exciting exciting stuff to come um if i wipe this in sport mode and uh give it a bit of a rev let me just put the windows down you can see it does um, sound pretty good but it's going to sound a lot better um, once we once we get the PSE installed okay so we're on step one um, a bit controversial of me to wear my BMW top while working on this Porsche, but I'm here at Dub Customs and we've got Sean here who's uh, doing step one, which is taking off um, the nuts for that centre back box. And uh, he's had a pretty tough time doing that, to be honest, and uh, I've not been much help either. But anyway, he's managed to get all the nuts off now. This one looks like it's going to be trouble as well. So. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit rusty. A bit rusty. Do you think we should take off the uh, the bumper? I think bumper comes off, yeah. Yeah. It's just easier. I think so too. Okay, so still trying to get off the exhaust. Um, it's been taking quite a long time because all the nuts and bolts were rusted on. Um, had to cut with an angle grinder. Um, with the help of obviously Sean doing all of that, um, managed to get it all cut off, um, and hopefully we'll lower down the exhaust any moment now. But it's been a very, very long job so far, about two hours, three hours in. Um, yeah, it's only eight years old, and uh, things are properly bonded, rusted, welded pretty much on together, and we're trying to take it off. So if you look down here, we uh, sawed off this because we just couldn't um, unbolt it. Um, we managed to get these bolts off, they were incredibly difficult. Got the tips off and I've just taken them aside and I've given them a good old polish. Um, so they're looking pretty sweet now. Quite like the finish on those, used a bit of uh, good old cortisol. But I'm happy with how they've turned out. Pretty good. Okay, so we made some progress. This rusty box, which came on the 3.8 non PSE, is finally off. And 
Sean did a lot of grafting. A lot of grafting to get it off. Nuts and bolts, all rusty. This is an eight year old car. Um, definitely advise buying all new parts, uh, as I did, uh, because you're gonna end up cutting away <laughs> at the old quite stuff, at quite a bit. Ain't that right, Sean? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> right, as you can see here. Yeah, all of this. So, a lot of snapped off. Um, yeah, a lot of been cut off as well, because you can't get to the bolts and if they round off, so yeah. Oh, he's done a good job, done an awesome job. And this is it, this is what we're going to install, finally. This piece. It's definitely lighter than the other one. I haven't weighed it, but it's definitely lighter. Um, not expecting much horsepower out of this, to be honest. Just really sound. But we'll see. Anyway. And then uh, the most tri the trickiest bit, I mean, we followed uh, thorough instructions, which I printed out, which are over there. But... Um, Instructions basically tell you you have to go into this bit here. Where am I? If you can see that, this uh, this is where the vacuum is, and we had to basically take out the old vacuum pipe, install a new line, which is this clear one, and feed it through down at the bottom behind this engine cover plate. So you've got to buy these extra little brackets as well and the flexi hoses behind it and then one's going to go in front of it and it's going to connect to to this basically and you buy another flexi hose pipe that connects this one to this one okay that's okay so we've um been here for quite a few hours haven't we Sean and um working out the vacuum lines um which I'll talk about in more detail um exhaust is on okay we're going to start out for the first time cold start new exhaust Go ahead, Sean. Put it in sport mode. Oh, lots of burbles. Okay, well. Morning. So it's Saturday. Weather's dry. A bit cold in October. Um, but yeah, I thought I'll just bring the car out and tell you about the exhaust, which is now fitted. Um, it sounds amazing. Yesterday I had the uh, Porsche console switch installed for the new sports exhaust button. That went in very well. Uh, so thanks to Porsche Colchester for doing that for me, and Dub Customs obviously for doing the installation of the of the, um, of the new back box. But it now sounds epic. It works amazingly. Um, I couldn't be couldn't be happier. Um, and it's a beautiful Saturday morning. I don't know if you can see behind me, but the sun is out. I'm out in the countryside in Essex. Um, yeah, just parked up the car in a rather rough area, to be honest. But um, yeah, let's have a little look at the car.
Okay, so this is the new centre console switch which I've had installed, uh, thanks to Porsche Colchester who sorted that out for me yesterday. Um, yeah, so this is what I didn't have before, the sports exhaust button. Um, you're probably wondering why have I got this button here at the top when I've got a ducktail now. Um, yeah, good point. It's just because if I ever decide to take the ducktail off, uh, I might want to go put the retractable spoiler back on again. So I wanted that button. That still would need recoding though, um, if I wanted to do that. But anyway, so yeah, sports exhaust is on. Um, it's amazing. Um, you have to order this entire piece. You can't just put a button in there. You've got to order the entire piece. Um, yeah, and I'll, 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 as you can see on the screen, this is the, the part number for it. Um, but yeah, all good and happy. So that's my video, and um, hopefully uh, you enjoyed watching how I retrofitted the PSE, the Porsche Sports Exhaust System, to the 991 Generation 1. Um, it did require a fair bit of research, so um, I advise you to do the same if you're looking to retrofit. Um, but if you need some help, just feel free to um, reach out to me and I'm happy to let you know what kind of parts I bought and where I got them from. Um, so yeah, if you like this video, please like and subscribe and um, yeah, I'm hoping to do more videos like this soon. Thank you very much.